Um, hello, guys. Welcome. Hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, we are outside today. This weather are cold, though. This weather are cold, anyhow. Man. Well, we got to do what we have to do. Um, a lot of people have sent me messages and they've been asking me if you have a relative in the U.S., what is the process? Others have also sent me messages asking if you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend in the U.S. and you are outside the U.S., what do you do? How do you go about it? Because many of you have sent me messages telling me your girlfriends or boyfriends here don't even know what to do. So this is what I'll be discussing in this video. And also a lot of you also sent me messages um, saying, Osa Komedi, um, I have a relative of mine. He's in the U.S. My cousin has been there for a long time. She don't even have any idea on how to go about it. One of my uncles sent me a letter letter of invitation i don't even know what to do my uncle here in the u.s don't even know what to add so these messages have been coming from people outside the united states so i think basically because they know i reside here in the u.s that is the reason why many of them are sending me these messages and it will shock you to know that even a lot of americans here don't even know how to go about these things sometimes because they have never decided to leave the U.S. So for those ones who regularly travel, they know what to do. You understand? It's not like in Africa where many of us who want to travel are usually looking for travel agents here and there. And at the end of the day, you find out that these travel agents, they do wonders. They are good ones. Also, they are the other type. You know what I mean. So in this very video, I am here to update you. So if you have relatives here, you have friends, you have boyfriends, you have girlfriends, you have wife, you have husband, this video is for you. And also for those of you who are just coming across my channel for the first time, my name is Nosa Komedi, the man with the remedy. Many of my fans call me Nosa from the source. You know why already for those of you that have been following me. So for the new ones, that's because I bring legit information from the source undiluted to you. And also, please, if you have not yet subscribed, don't miss out. Right here, a lot is happening. If you want to hear legit travel abroad information from the source, you have to subscribe to me, to this channel. Because right here, we're keeping it real. We don't say things that are not happening. And also give this video a big like so that YouTube can recommend this video to others who might be interested. So now, let me firstly talk about those people who have relatives here in the U.S. And you are outside the U.S. You may be in Africa, Asia, South America, wherever it is. Now, if you have a relative here, and you want to visit. What that your relative we have to do is to first of all send you a letter of invitation. Once that your relative here in the US send you that letter, because that is the starting point. You, on the other hand, that is outside the US, that want to come to the US, we all know you need a valid passport. Then, you as a person, because there is one particular mistake many of you are making. You will be looking for people's proof of funds that you want to use. Please, listen very carefully here. Once that your relative here send you that invitation letter, whether it's friend or relative, or, but I will break it down so that you can understand. If that your relative here send you that letter of invitation, the next thing you will have to do is for you to put together all the required documents that are needed for you to apply for a US B1, B2 visa, which is the visiting visa. People call it the tourist visa. 
that's B1, B2. Now, why you are you why you are on the process of gathering these necessary documents that is needed for you to apply for this visa? There is one particular thing you have to take cognizance of. That your relative that is there in the US we need to send his proof of funds because you are coming to the US. He or she is the one that you are going to stay with. She, he or she is going to be the one that will host you, house you, yeah, and take care of you. So the reason why that your relative here in the US, uh, the reason why our proof of funds, is our proof of funds is very, very important is that they want to make sure that she is capable of taking care of you. They want to make sure she is capable of taking care of herself before taking care of you during your period of stay. So she will have to send a task paper, pay stops, um, W-2, all the necessary forms. They also want to know, the reason why they want to see her task papers is that they want to know if she has been paying her taxes. Because if you have been defaulting in paying taxes here, how will you say you want to give somebody invite to come to the U.S.? This is one of the reasons why many of you back home are not getting these visas. Because the specialist that is giving you that letter, they are not qualified to even invite you. Because in many cases, in some cases, let me not say in many cases, in some cases, some are even any below the threshold. Because you have to be earning a particular salary before you can even say you want to give somebody an invitation from outside the U.S. to come and visit and stay with you. So you must be receiving some reasonable amount. It is not every American citizen here that can invite anybody to come here. I'm just telling you the way it is. Nobody may have told you this. There are American citizens who are not qualified to invite somebody from outside the U.S. to come and see them. Because what they have in terms of finance, they are even struggling to take care of themselves with what they are earning. So these kind of people will want to invite somebody from outside to come here. So they will not. It will be difficult for that kind of visa application to go through. You understand? So like I was saying, once that your relative here gives you that letter of invitation, he or she will send the space stops, W-2, task papers, and what have you. Then you, on the other hand, that is coming here, you need to add your own proof of funds. This is where many of you are getting it all wrong. Many of you will be coming here. You will be collecting other people's proof of funds. And you will not even add your own. So it will not work. Because in many cases, from your own application, man, my lips is getting dried. My lip gloss is not here. Well, so, like I was saying, you, that you have claimed during your visa application that you want to come and visit the US and go back to your country. Now, you will have to prove that you have that job. You will have to prove that that job you are doing, you are being paid. If you have said in your visa application that you are not working for anybody, you have your own personal business or businesses, you will have to prove that. And proving that usually will be during your interview because you have to come with these documents to prove that you already have this job or you are already doing this business or businesses that you have claimed in your visa application. So, that is one. Because, also, now, there are many ways to prove to this visa officer that you are coming back to your country. Because it is a B1, B2. You are not supposed to use it to come here and stay. So, it's for visits. So, now, once you are using this proof of funds that uh, maybe that person here has sent to you, like I said, Earlier, you will also need to add your own proof of funds. Now, your proof of funds is very, very important. That is your bank statement. Because it, allow the, um, it allows the visa 
interviewer, that is the uh, visa officer at the embassy that is interviewing you, it allows them to know that you are something doing back home and you are most likely going to come back to your country for that job or to that business or businesses you are currently doing. So this is why it is very, very important to prove that you have this job or jobs or business or businesses. And also, your back statement, we also let them know that you have a regular source of income. So they will have it in mind that most likely you are not going to leave a regular source of income and decide to stay back in the U.S. as a visitor. Now, once you have done this, you book for your interview. Like I said, go to the U.S. immigration website. Know the things that you, are, that you need to do that. The documents that is required or that are required, they are all there. Now, for those of you that have girlfriends and boyfriends here in the U.S., many of you have sent me messages telling me, no, comedy. My girlfriend is here in the U.S. She's about to come to Africa. And when she comes, we'll just do our marriage, we'll wed. Then from there, we'll start applying for a visa for me to come here. Some ladies have also sent me messages telling me, no, comedy. my boyfriend, who's an American citizen, is here. He wants to come to Africa. And when he comes, we'll get married and start applying for a visa for me to come here. Now, let me tell you something many of you may not really be aware of. If you want to get any visa, you will have to first start by thinking like a visa officer. Because if you don't think like a visa officer, you will not get visa. Many of you are just only applying for visa. You want to come here, you want to come here. Have you asked yourself, the way you are applying for these visas, if you are a visa officer, Will you give these kind of people visas? Because if you don't think like a visa officer, getting a visa can be very difficult. It is very difficult. So how to think like a visa officer is this. Now, you met a lady. Maybe you guys met online. Or he or she was introduced to you. And this person is an American citizen. They want to come to Africa or Europe or anywhere, Asia, South America, for you guys to marry. Now, here, they will, be, they will be thinking because there will be doubts. Immigration will be thinking. This person, how, how will you just meet somebody for the first time? You guys will just marry. These are, we have to face reality. Even though I know some people may still get it, but it is becoming difficult. Your, your girlfriend, or boyfriend who is an American citizen just left the U.S., went back to Africa. As he, as, he, as he or she came, you guys just got married. It happens. But that your American um, citizen spouse and you that, wants, that is outside the U.S. and want to come here, you guys will need to prove and prove and prove and prove Beyond reasonable doubt that, that your marriage is legit. Trust me, it's not easy. Because when you are outside the US, you'll be thinking it's like this, it's like this, it's like this. I am here in the US. I am telling you the way it is. Because these immigration people here, they are very intelligent people. They want you to be honest. If you are honest, you can get an American visa. If you are honest. I am here telling you, honesty matters. You understand? So, in some cases, I will just tell you, if that your spouse or if that your girlfriend or boyfriend who is an American citizen here is visiting you, they can visit for the first time. You guys can continue talking, like discussing, chatting, you know. Then they can visit you again. And that second time, you guys can get married. The most important thing here is that this marriage is legit. But that doesn't mean you cannot go there once and get married, though. You can go to, you can go to Africa once and get married. That is, that your American citizen boyfriend or girlfriend can come to Africa, 
the first time you guys can get married it happens but you guys you guys will need to prove that you guys have been talking for a very long time and in many cases they will require you to snap these your conversations whether text messages or chats on whatsapp or facebook or instagram you will need to snap them and record them and add it to your visa application here that is that your american citizen spouse will be the one to do that you will need to prove beyond reasonable doubt it's not like you just met online after two months you just went to africa you just got married see it will be very suspicious so i am here to tell you the way things are done no joro honesty pays just be honest with your information that you are giving it's very very important to understand and also here let me state this too for the record if that your spouse here he is not earning reasonable amount of income if she fight for you they will reject it because like i said earlier it is not every american citizen that can be qualified to file a petition for somebody to leave their countries to come here to the u.s because in the immigration people's um, view how can somebody who can barely feed his or herself who can barely take care of themselves this person has not properly filed these or taxes. They are in debt. They have a lot of loans that they have not paid in years. These kind of people, they cannot fight for you to come here. If these kind of people give you invitation, you will not get a visa. Because the issue is, how can someone who is currently finding it difficult to take care of themselves alone will not be inviting somebody outside the U.S. to come and stay with them. How are they going to take care of that person? So these are the things you have to look out for. So for those of you who are saying, eh, how do I do this? I have treated it now in this video. And also for those of you who are friends here in the U.S., maybe your friends, they have sent you an um, invitation for you to come here. Those your friends, they will also have to send you pay stops, task papers, W2s, and the likes for them to prove that they are eligible to invite you. Because if this person that is giving you invitation here is also in debt, maybe she, maybe he or she is owing taxes. He or she has not paid ROS. Taxes for a very long time. He or she has loans that she has not been able to pay for years. If this kind of your friend give you invitation, before they will give you that visa, it will be difficult. Because for you to be able to invite somebody from outside the U.S. to come here, you will have to prove to the immigration system here that you are capable of taking care of, taking care of yourself and taking care of that person for the duration they will be here to stay with you. So you will have to prove all this. So that is how it is. So if somebody is giving you invitation to come to the US, these are some of the questions you will have to ask that person. Bro, or sis, or babe, or, or whatever you want to call that person, or um, boyfriend, or girlfriend. I hope this visa, you have all the, requir you have all the requirements because you will be required to submit this, to submit this, to submit that. Because many of these people here are not even aware of what they need to submit. So you will have to do your findings. So if you have anybody who is in this shoe, please do where to send them this video so that they can have an idea of how this thing is done. So this is basically how it is. Just go online, go to the US immigration website, and right there you will see all the documents that is needed for you to apply but the most important thing is these things i have told you that 
this person here in the U.S. we have to provide. They have to be qualified. So that is basically the word it is. So right now in the comment section of this video, as always, if you have anything you want to know from me and you want me to make a video on it, drop it in the comment section and I will surely deliver. I am doing this because a lot of people have asked me. So guys, till I see you in my next video. Have a good one, guys.